Welcome to Smart PLS. We like to introduce the Importance Performance Map Analysis, IPMA. Let's take a look at a PLS path model example. Standard PLS results show the estimated coefficients between latent variables in the structural model. The size of the standardized path coefficients allows us to determine the relative importance of one construct to explain another one. For example, when looking at the target construct Y4, Y1 has a relatively high importance with a path coefficient of 0.5, while Y3 has a lower importance with a path coefficient of 0.25. While the path coefficients represent the relative importance, the EPMA now adds performance values for every latent variable in the structural model. These performance values are the average value of the latent variable scores on a scale from 0 to 100. The closer the score to 100, the higher the performance of the latent variable. Now we select the key target construct of the analysis and combine the importance and performance information in the importance performance map. On the x-axis we see the importance. On the y-axis we see the performance of the latent variables on a scale from 0 to 100. Here we find that y1 has a low performance while y2 has a relatively high performance. By adding the performance dimension to the PLS results, we can better interpret the outcomes. Construct Y1 has the highest importance for explaining the target construct Y4, but on the other hand, Y1 has a relatively low performance. In a Cetris Paribus interpretation of results, an increase of Y1's performance of one point increases the performance of the target construct Y4 by the size of the unstandardized total effect, which is above 0.8 in this example. By focusing on a key target construct, the importance performance map analysis identifies constructs that should receive highest priority for performance improvement. Thereby, as a result, the performance of the key target construct also increases. Here we see the IPMA results of an empirical application. The key target construct is willingness to donate. The importance performance map shows all other constructs in the structural model that explain willingness to donate. But in this example, we contrast the results of two different groups. The red symbol shows the outcomes of older persons, while the blue symbol shows the results for younger persons. The comparison of IPMA results across groups reveals some interesting outcomes. First, the performance of the younger persons is always lower than that of the older ones. Second, Likeability should receive the highest priority of performance improvement in both groups. However, the results differ for the second priority. OSR should receive performance improvement for the older customers, while quality and attractiveness should receive performance improvement when it comes to the younger customers. In summary, based on the PLS results, the IPMA allows us to identify key areas of improvement. Also, it is a particularly useful tool to contrast results across different groups. Thank you very much for your attention and please visit our webpage at www.smartpls.com.